Nice. Hello, good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. My name's Yura. <laughs> you know, it was so true. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Good morning, everyone. Uh... Yeah. We're good to be left. Yeah. We left. Right here. Oh, yeah. Hi, good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. Thank you for joining us this morning when the weather is so nice outside. All right. Together with me here today, we've got Syed. Hi, everybody. Good morning. <laughs> it's going to be a good workout today. We've got some basic resistance band workouts for you. It's just a very simple few exercises, nothing too crazy, very easy to follow along. Mm -hmm. We're just going to be running through with you a few main things first uh, to make sure you do have ample space when you're doing your workout. Make sure you're not going to hit any objects in the vicinity around you. Just maintain a good, say, yes, a good one, me one meter will be a safe, good distance. All right. Uh, do make sure that you have your resistance bands with you as well. Uh, in regards of what intensity or resistance band you would like to use, that's totally up to you. So it can be a very strong one or a medium or a light one. It's totally up to you. No restrictions on that. Uh, please have your water on standby if you need it and also a towel if you'd like. Yeah. And the mat. And also your mat. Yeah. Yes, very important as well. Yeah. Okay. With regards to the resistance band, some of you may be wondering what's the difference between the resistance bands that you have at home. Some of you might have different colors from us, but it might be the thin one. So to know the different resistance is by the thickness of your bands. So if yours is the super thin one, then most like it's the lightest of all, the, like the one that I'm using. I'm using the one of the lighter ones. He's using the medium yeah. resistance one. Okay, so for those of you who only have one resistance band, you can actually play around with the resistance by the way you hold the band itself. So if you're holding it closer to the center, there's more resistance there. If you're holding on to the ends, slightly towards the end, it's going to be easier for you. All right. Same if you only have one medium or hard one, you can hold on slightly towards the end of the band so that it's a bit more easier. Okay. So sorry, you ready for the warm up for oh, today? Oh, good. Yeah, let's go. All right. So we have five warm ups. We are going to be doing 12 of each warm up. Okay. We'll go through the warm ups first, and then we'll do it together, shall we? Yes, let's go. All right. All right. We're going to start the morning with a good morning bow. So have with your bands under your feet. Yeah, I'll show Yeah. So with your bands under your feet like this, mm -hmm. you're going to be holding the ends of your resistance band. All right? So you can either put it at the side of your hips here or in front. No worries. It's up to you, whichever you prefer. And then from this position, you're just going to slowly lean back. All right? Almost like you're into a sitting position, but not quite. All right, about the halfway point, you should feel a stretch in your hamstrings, the sides over here, okay? And then just from that position, you just go straight back up again. All right, the count is one rep. So we're just gonna do 12, okay? Yeah. And for the second warm up, we're gonna do is the starfish squats. All right, for the starfish squats, still with the bends under your feet, we are going to go down into a squat, reaching down to your opposite knee, ankle, or shin, up to your comfort level or wherever you can reach. From here, you're going to come up and stretch the band up high. So you look like starfish now, right? Yeah. Again, okay, so from the side. So once again, all right. Pushing your hips back, going down into a squat, reaching down as far as you can. Coming back up. All right. That's pretty much it. Quite straightforward. Yeah. yeah. So what's the third one? All right. The next one will be shoulder rotations. Okay, so for this exercise, I'm just going to keep quite a wide uh, grip. About shoulder width apart will do, nothing too crazy. Have your band at your thigh, start at this position, and you're just going to bring it up as far back as you can. So go to the back and back down. Now, preferably with each rep that you do, you might want to bring the band a bit further back if you can. 
If you can't, no worry, that's totally fine as well. Just make sure you get a good stretch. All right? Yeah. yeah. Moving on to the next one, we're going to do some chest openers. This time again, with the bands in front of you, shoulder width apart, you're going to open right to the side. All right. <laughs> Bring it back forward. Open wide to the side as far as you can. So for this as well, the closer you are to the mid line of the bend, the more resistance you'll feel. Okay. And for the last warm up, we have punches. All right. Yeah. So for this one, just can you take your bend, drape it around you. It's going on the back. So okay. something like this. All right. Just gonna hold the bend, not too close to the ends, about. Few hand, like a few handfuls away, all right? Now, for punches, whichever stance you prefer, whichever is comfortable for you is fine. So here I'll just demonstrate a normal standard pose, just your two feet facing forward. The other one I will demo is one with the left foot in front, the right foot behind. That's just my preferred stance. So from here, you just gotta bring out your hands back, just like you box, all right? So same thing, we'll do 12 reps for these. Yeah. All right. So that was the five warm-ups that we're going to start doing now. So we're going to be counting 12 reps for each warm-up, right? Shall we start? Let's start. Okay. Hopefully you guys are ready as well. Let's have a good workout today. We'll try and get through this together, all right? Yeah. So like we said earlier, first workout will be like good morning bounce. All right? So just 12 reps, yeah. Okay, your resistance bands by the sides or in front, up to you. Mm -hmm. Okay, starting with pushing the hips to the back, just keeping your knees soft, letting it naturally bend as you push your hips to the back, coming back up. That's one. So, you don't want to be hyper extending your neck by looking at us on the screen. Two, make sure your gaze follows your movements. Try to get your chest parallel to the floor. Three. Four, five, six. As right. mentioned by the side earlier, you should be feeling it in your hands. Seven, the back of your palm. Eight, nine, ten. Do you remember to control your breathing as well? 11. One more. And 12. All right. So that's right. it for the good morning bows. All right. Exactly. Right. Okay, cool. All right. Up next, as we mentioned earlier, will be the starfish squats. So the starfish squats, once again, 12 reps. Have your feet about shoulder width apart. Remember your hands at the end of your band. You're just going to... Bring your arms down to your opposite leg. Come up. One. Just like that. As wide as you can go. Down. Two. You don't have to go too long. Remember, this is just your warm up. So you're waking up all the muscles in your body. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Nice. Yes. So another thing, just try to remember. Just to keep your breathing in check, inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth. All right? It's very essential to breathe. All so. right. Warm up number three. You've got your shoulder rotations. Your bands in front of your thighs, shoulder width apart. You're going to bring it up as high as you can. Okay, so, with every rep, you're going to try to go further back. It's two. Once again, like we stated, if you can go further behind, 
by all means, you can try. But obviously, do be careful. Don't let yourself get injured. Hope everyone's doing good. Keep your chest out. All right. Back straight. Shoulder breathing. Two more to go. Last one. All right. Wonderful. There you go. Nice. <laughs> okay, cool, cool. Let's get it. Let's get Good job, everyone. Okay. The next one we'll be doing will be chest openers. All right. So, like we demoed again early on, like Ira said, the closer you hold the band to the midline, the higher the resistance is going to be. So, if you maybe like a bit of less stress, hold it further apart. All right. So, just from here, stretch, let it touch your chest, and bring back slowly. Control it. Nice. All right. Control the band as it goes back. Five. Six. So you're going to keep it at shoulder level as we go, okay? Mm -hmm. Hold it. Nine. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Ten. Ten. All right, two more. Seven. Eleven. Last one. And twelve. All right. Whew. Should Pick feel should feel your chest starting to get a little bit tight for sure. Yeah. All right. It's okay. It's just the blood going there. There's nothing to worry about. Embrace the discomfort. All right. <laughs> so yeah, you want to show the last one? All right. The last warm up. We have twelve punches. So for the counting for this, you are going to go left, right, left. That's considered as one rep. Okay. So we're going to do twelve of this. Mm -hmm. Remember, you're going to have your punches at shoulder level. Feet at whichever stance you feel more comfortable in. If you're standing like how I'm standing with your feet slightly wider than shoulder width apart, just remember to keep your knees soft. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, like <laughs> leggy. <laughs> keep your knees, knees soft, you're going to be locking your knees, okay? Yeah. Or if you prefer to have your one legged stance, you can be like what? What's your name again? Side is doing. All right, let's start with our chop punches. And go. Two, two, three, two, four, two, five, two, six, two, seven, two, eight, two, nine, two, ten, two, eleven, two, twelve, two. Thanks. That's all. That's it. So all that's right. it for the warm up. Yeah. Do you feel warm up now? I feel very warm. Yeah, I can see. He's already sweating, guys. Already sweating. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see that, but yeah, already sweating. Okay, before we start with the main workouts itself, make sure you have a, a bottle beside you, for those of you who are not fasting, that is. If you need to take a sip of water, please do at any point of time. If you guys need to take a break, please go ahead, all right? And during any of our exercises, if you feel that you need to take a little break or you need a little regression, not to worry, we'll also be going through some easier versions of the exercises that we'll be doing today. Yeah. Okay? Okay, so... The first main exercise that we'll be doing, like as mentioned earlier on, will be front squats, supersetted with a shoulder press, okay? So this exercise will consist of two motions, all right? So for the front squat, you're just gonna get your resistance burn out, okay? Here I'll be showing a more simplified I saw a <laughs> Yeah, okay? So just get your resistance band, okay? Just put it under your feet. Once again, shoulder width apart like so. Just gonna get the ends of your resistance band. All right? And you're gonna get down into a squat just from here. All right, the band is gonna go over your back, slightly over your shoulders, like how you would carry your school bag, all right? So in this position, a few important things to note, keep your chest out and your back straight, okay? Breathing is also very important in this exercise. So try and control your breathing. Like I said earlier on, you can go very intense or moderately, depends on what you like to do. Just do the best you can, obviously. All right? So from this position, I'm just gonna come up, standing, 
over your head and then down again. All right, it's one, two. So for the regression version, you can do it on the chair, going from your seat to stand position to overhead press. So starting in your sitting position, Four. just bring yourself up, pushing the bends up, punching through the seat. All right, so that's the first exercise. Second one we've got, the lunge with lateral raise. So we're combining again two movements in this. We've got the lunge and the lateral and the raise to the side. Yeah. So for this one, just gonna get one foot. We'll start with our right for this instance, okay? Foot over, just mm -hmm. like this. Now I'm just gonna get down into a simple lunge. All right, lunge, 90 degrees, come up, and then your arms. Just gonna go up to the sides. All right. For your lunge, try and keep your leg at a 90 degree angle. All right. Remember, same thing applies. Keep your chest out. Come down, control your breathing. Up. And there. So you have to always make sure your knees are following your toes. So you don't have to be pushing your knees too much forward or too much to the side. Make sure it's always following your toes, all right? For the easier version of this, what you can do is just to take a step back. Same thing with your bend under the right foot first. Just take a step back. Bring the bend. That's about it. So you're standing in alternate spine position. Again, I'm going to change to the opposite side. Still doing the same exercise, your lunge to your left foot. It's the same thing, just gonna alternate, left leg, up, and raise. Okay, same thing applies, it's just a different leg, that's all. Yeah. All right, the next one looks slightly easier. So this feels like, like a little rest in between. You're just gonna be working on one muscle this time, your biceps. Yeah. Okay, he will show from the side, because you know, he got more things to show. <laughs> all right, so from the side here, same thing. Just gonna keep your hands Side your body, all right? Close together. Then just lift up, squeeze, and go down. All right? Two, three. You can have the option of doing this four. sitting down as well. You are still working on the same muscles, still the same positions, and just the seated version of it. So you can be hold, you can be holding slightly even more closer to the to the mid of your bed. We feel more resistance. Okay. So that's it for bicep. Exercise. Very straightforward. Now for the next exercise, it's going to be called a bend over row. Bend over row will target majority of your back muscles. All right. So and it's your triceps as well. Yes. So same thing. Just get yourself in position. Shoulder feet. Shoulder width apart. Your feet. Now up to you whether you'd like to get a stronger resistance. Personally, for me, I would like a bit more resistance when I'm doing this exercise. So. I will hold the band closer to the midline. All right. Just gonna bend over. It's very slightly, not hunched or too low like this. Just in a position where you feel comfortable. Keep your chest out. All right. Just for this position with your bands, so just bring it up. You're just gonna squeeze your back. Okay. Just bring it up. Squeeze. Up. So for the seated version, same thing. Just sitting down in the same position. You have to try to have your shoulders. Parallel to the floor, your chest parallel to the floor. Remember, don't, you don't have a high flat standing your neck. So just keep your gaze on the floor as well. Just bring the bends up. Think of pulling your elbows up. So as you pull your elbows up, you'll feel your back coming together. Yeah. You should feel a squeeze in your back. At the same time, control your breathing. Because you're bent over, it's going to be slightly harder. So make sure you get as much breath as you can. All right, so that's it for the bend over row. All right, so for the last exercise in this set will be the push-ups. So much like earlier on, our punching warm-up position. All right, just keep your bend behind like this. All right, just get on a push-up position. All right, so if you can't do a normal push-up, you can do the simplified version, which here I'll be demonstrating. 
which is done on the knees. I'll be demonstrating the normal one. So just get in position like this. When you get into your push-up position, make sure your back is not arched too high or drops a little. Just medium position like this, it'll be fine. All right, so just gonna go down, up, down, up, down, up. So for down. the repressed version, you have your knees on the floor. If you need a bit more support for your knees, you can bend your mat if you're using a mat. If not, you can put a pillow or something soft under your knees to reduce the uh, the strain yeah. on your yes on your knees. All right. Another option you can do is actually put the wall. So if your hands on the wall like this. Okay. So imagine there's a wall in front here. Put your hands in front of the wall. Make sure it's about your shoulder, your shoulders above your palm. Then you're just gonna push yourself in towards the wall and push up yourself back. So this whole exercise is actually working on your arms. So you want to be pushing with your arm strength. You don't want to be pulling yourself back with your palms or pulling yourself back with any other muscle. So think of pushing your hands up. Okay. The purpose of the resistance band is to resist your movement. So it's a bit more challenging than your normal push-ups. All right. Well, you guys ready okay. for the actual round now? Yeah. So if you thought that was over, no. So it's the actual workout section. We'll be doing three rounds. Okay, so each round, the timing will vary. We'll inform you before each round starts. So you have an idea, you can follow the timing here, or you can follow your own timing at home. All right? So for the first round, we'll be doing 40 seconds of work with 20 seconds of rest. So this will apply for each exercise. All right? So if you don't understand what that means, Basically, for example, the first exercise we were doing, the front squat, you will continuously, continuously, <laughs> yeah, you will continuously do front squat for 40 seconds, and then there'll be a cutoff time, and then you'll be able to rest for 20 seconds, and then we'll move down each exercise accordingly, progress with the rounds. All right. So, you ready? Let's begin. Can we have behind the scenes here? Oh boy, with the timer, you have to see behind. Hi. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'll be showing you guys the regress version. He's going to be showing you guys the actual version. So if you want more challenge, you can be doing what he's doing. Yeah. If you don't feel, if the weather's a bit too chilly for you and you know, it's too comfortable, you can be doing what I'm doing as well. Yeah. The videos will still be up on, on the platform that you're watching right now. So you, can, you guys can just follow us anytime as well, okay? Yeah. Shall we start? Yes, let's do it. All right. So the first exercise, we've got the front squats with shoulder presses. All right. Let's go. At your own pace, you're not rushing for anything. So you can only start slow. This is only the first round. If you're wondering which body parts you should be feeling, you should be feeling most of your legs. And then when you come up for your shoulder press, you should be feeling it in your shoulders. That's the exercise we need. Once again, there's no set reps. Just do the best you can. All right, so that's it. We've got 20 seconds, 20 seconds of rest. 20 seconds of rest. Catch your breath, inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth, all right? Okay, ready for your next exercise? Lunges with lateral raises, all right? Good up. Another alternative for this is to do it with the chair. So with the band in front on your right leg. While going into your lunge, you can be sitting on one side of the chair. Down, side, and up. Press your bum. Yes, Once again, when you raise your arms, you should come up to your shoulder height. Nothing more, nothing less. All right? Okay. 
Okay, now it's 20 seconds of rest. You're gonna do the alternate side. All right? You gotta make the balance there. Yeah. So ladies get position. Catch your breath. Are you sweating yet? Not as no, much as not you. Not as much are. as me. <laughs> Definitely not as much as me. Okay. All right. So make sure you have a towel with you. You might be sweating as much as somebody is just sweating. Yep. Intensity is all up to you. You can do it as light as you want, or as high intensity as you like. It's up to you. Control your breathing. Got three more seconds. Sure, your chest is up. Your back is straight. There we go. So we're done with lunges, lateral raise. The next one will be bicep curls. Slightly relaxed one. Yeah. So if you're a bit tired, this is a good exercise to just chill for a bit. Mm -hmm. Wipe your sweat. Wipe your sweat, <laughs> yes. All right. Up to your bicep curls. Remember you don't have to be locking your knees. Keep your knees soft. Yeah, squeeze, control the tension, all right? Don't let the bends just drop back. Try, try and almost resist it. Remember, you are controlling the bend, so not, don't let the bend control you. Yes, that's true. <laughs> Three more seconds. Nice, all right. I don't know about you, but I'm sweating already. Yeah, yes. <laughs> All right, your next one is going to be your bend over row where you are working on your back muscles as well as your triceps, which is the under part of your arms. All right, same thing. Squeeze. Okay. Yeah, so give me your biceps as well. All right, control your breathing, same thing. If you'd like a stronger resistance, like I said earlier, just move your arms closer to the midline of your bed. Feel your back, give it a good squeeze, control. All right, it's sharp. Yeah, I'm also sweating now. <laughs> Right. So we're going to get yeah. down to your mat. Yep. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. And feeling tighter. Good. I'm feeling real good. Bends behind your back. Same thing. Go down as far as you can. And push yourself up. If you need to take your breath, it's fine. Take your breath. Hold it. Just a few more seconds. All right. So that's it for round one. Now we've got two minutes rest before we proceed on to the next round. Yes. So if you need to go take a big sip of water, make sure you walk around those straight away. Sit down, okay? Yeah. You're gonna walk around first. Breathe as we go. Inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth. Yep. Let's see who's online. We've got Sandra. Hi, Belinda. Eh? Hi, Nuru Shahida. <laughs> <laughs> Hope everyone's doing okay. Just catch your breath. Same thing. Good job so yeah. far. Round one's over. You guys are doing great. Two more rounds to go. Hi, Ruthie Ahmad. Oh. Oh, there's more. La. Hi, Afidali. And Diana Tan. Good morning, everyone. Hello, <laughs> Nacha. Oh, hope everyone's feeling good. Give us a thumbs up. 
Smile. So... Yeah, so many. <laughs> I'm so... Hi, Cheese Abida. Good morning to you as well. Glad to see all of you guys here online today. How's the workout going so far? You guys enjoying yourself? Is it too easy for you? Is it too easy, Syed? Um, I think it's great. Mm -hmm. I think it's good. You it's can see time. him shining here. Yeah, this, <laughs> this natural sheen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sheen. <laughs> <laughs> well, good job, guys. Doing good so mm -hmm. far, yeah? All right, so for the next round, each workout in the first round was, once again, 40 seconds long with 20 seconds of rest. Yep. For the next one, it'll be 50 seconds of work with a slightly increased rest time, 25 mm -hmm. seconds. So we have a good extra five seconds to just try and chill and calm down. Yeah. Mm. Doing good so far, doing good, yeah? Yeah. Good job. All right, same thing. Just make sure whatever intensity you want to work with today, it's completely up to you. All right, pushing yourself is always good, but push yourself responsibly as well. Mm -hmm. All right. You guys ready for our next round? Are you ready for our next round? Hope so. <laughs> you <are. laughs> no. remember at your own pace, okay? Yeah. Always remember everybody has their own bubble. So if sure. the aim is not to burst your bubble. So if you can only go up to a certain range today, that's fine. Up, just listen to your own body, okay? There's no one for you to compete with, no one for you to run after at your own pace in your own comfort home. Okay, just Listen to your own body. Yes. All right. Let's go with our round two. All right. So you guys should be familiar with the exercises now, right? Yeah. Oh, my voice. <laughs> Just as a, as a backup again, we will still continue to explain each exercise that we do, just in case you forget. So the first exercise, much like the first round that we did, we front squats. Let's go. All your sit to stand. Remember, pace yourself. For the breathing part, always remember whenever you're exerting the pause, pause, you're going to breathe up. All right, so this is a good example. Breathe in, breathe up. Breathe in, breathe up. All right. All right. All right, well done. Shake it off a little if you need to shake something. Sign feels something tight a bit, yeah? <laughs> Again, we're going to get ready for your next exercise, which is the lunge. Lunge, lunge reversal. Yes. We're not going to do it in the chair this time. We're just going to do the step back version of it. All right, same thing as before. Remember, we soften your knees. If you want a bit more challenge, you can hold at your lateral raise for two seconds and you bring it down. Or if you are doing the version like what side is doing, you can hold for two seconds at the lunge. Yeah. So when you're at the bottom, you can hold it for two seconds. Just so we can push yourself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Change legs. You gotta make it equal. If not, you have one muscular leg, the other one. Yes. Not so muscular. <laughs> He's sitting again, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, same thing, yeah? Breathe first, you still got four seconds. Get the heart rate down. Alright, let's go. And up to the start. Remember, you don't need to go too high up. Aim for your shoulder level. You can't go up to your shoulder level, that's fine. If this is your max, that's fine, okay? Remember, you don't need to be pushing yourself too much reasonably push yourself all right mm -hmm. so you exhale as you're bringing the bend up same thing remember keep that tension when you raise your arms you want to control that tension when it goes down Fantastic. there we go well done 
Shake it all off a little. Oh no. Okay, give me a minute, yeah. We've got a bit of technical here. Okay. Oh yeah, there we're we go. safe. <laughs> oh, it's calling us back. Oh. Next, you've got the bicep curls. Same thing as before. Over. And just lift. Remember, you have to soften your knees. Don't knock your knees if you need to be sitting down. You can then sit down. That's the problem. Just like what Yara is doing. All right? Keep your back straight. Mm -hmm. Arms by the side of your body. Bring it up. Squeeze. Control the tension. You going to keep your elbows close to your body at all times, yeah? You want to feel this tight squeeze in your biceps to you bring it up. Mm -hmm. There we go. All right. Catch your breath. We're going to start with bent over rows. Mm -hmm. All right. Catch your breath. Get into position if you'd like. We've got five seconds to breathe right. and rest for a bit more. Just on the side, same thing. All right, bend over and, and squeeze. So remember, think of pulling your elbows up towards the ceiling. Don't hyperextend your neck. Keep your gaze down. All right, keep your chest out. Mm -hmm. Control your breathing, same thing. All right, just follow that. Doing good so far, guys. All right, good job. Thanks. Now it's the last exercise for this round, which is push ups again, much like what we did earlier. Same thing. All right? You good, Saba? I'm great. <laughs> I'm, I'm sweating a lot, but I feel good. Mm -hmm. Same thing, bends behind. Last exercise, guys. Let's go. There you are. So if your bends keeps coming up and hitting your neck, you can have your bends under your armpit to stop it from going upwards, okay? Remember palms under your shoulders. At your own speed, you can be doing it with the wall. That's fine too. Try and secure your hands uh, with the resistance band as well. Mm -hmm. All All right. Wonderful. So far, so good. Who's not panting yet? If you're not panting now, you know what you should be doing. <laughs> you know what you should be doing. All right. So that was. A wrap for round two. We've got one more round left. You take a sip of water. Yes. Please hydrate yourself. Hi, China Cha. I miss you too. <laughs> Come down soon, okay? After this whole circuit period. Doing good, guys. Doing good. Hi, Irene. Hi, Lian. Thank you for <laughs> joining us this morning, guys. Yep, thank you very much. Hope you guys are having a good time with us. Yeah. Let's see. Alright, these are workouts that anyone can be doing. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter what your age is. You can still get a decent sweat out of it if you have not noticed me. <laughs> he needs a towel, guys. Yeah, I need a towel. <laughs> okay, walk around. So far, so good. Alright. Walk around, catch your breath. Breathe in. Mm -hmm. There, <laughs> deep your nose, get up in your mouth. Hold on, hold on. Good job, good job, guys. All right, just one more round to go. That's all. Yeah. One good. more round. For round three, we are increasing the time a little bit more this time. You guys should be really familiar with the exercises already. We are going to be doing it for one minute with 30 seconds rest in between, okay? Again. Again, if you guys. You need to take a break in between this one minute. It may sound like it's a long time. But if you guys need to take a break in between or if you guys need to slow down, yeah. please do. Go ahead, okay? Try and pace the sounds a bit better. Mm -hmm. You ready? You okay? I believe so. I'm good. Since dropping everywhere. 
Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Let's go. All right. We're going to start with our round three. So same thing again. We'll be starting with the front squat, mm -hmm. shoulder press. All right. So take note one more time. This is one minute of work. So you're setting the rest. All right. If you're doing a good chair, or if you're feeling, feeling a little bit ambitious this round, you can go without the chair, but not going too low. You can go down for two quarters. So breathing, doing good so far. You guys are doing good. Remember, pace yourself. If you're feeling tired, show your breathing. Side. I don't know about you, but I'm starting to burn. <laughs> it's a good burn, it's a good burn, yeah? It's okay, we'll stretch it out later on after this. Not too worry. Alright, let's okay. go! Alright, um... Oh. Remember, it's your own pace, alright? The important thing with doing your exercises, it's good that you're doing them, but at the same time, form is essential so you don't jeopardize your body and get injured as well. Alright? If you can't do as many reps, it's fine. As long as your form, your posture is all good, it's a good, thing, it's a good base to cover first. Alright? All right. There we go. Good job. Nice. Check it out. If you need to stretch, you can do your ultimate stretch and go here. Put that light to 20 seconds. Up. Before we go over to your bend over. Catch your breath. We'll do our biceps. Sweat. Sweat. Especially if you like me. Bend over your knee. That's my second. My second. Yes. Alright, so thing. Posture up. And your own face, guys. 
This exercise is a good way for you to catch your breath. So, if you're really tired from the first few exercises, even though you're still working out here, it's a good way to catch your breath, right? You need to reduce the resistance a little bit. Yeah, hold on. Further up to the end of yeah. the Ten seconds left, guys. You should be feeling your biceps getting really tight around about now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. There you go. Nice. All right, breathe. We got two more exercises left. Mm -hmm. Just two more, right? Just nice. Oh. Okay. Next time we have our bend over rows. Just prepare yourself for that. Get in position. Take a swig of that water if you need to. Wipe down your sweat. And let's get ready for the next Ooh, exercise. Right. Your bent over you. Have your bent under your feet. Same thing. Push your hips back. Just bring it up. Now remember when you're in this position and you're pulling your arms back, try not to make it a habit to sit up straight when you're in this position. All right, the form should be solid. Just in this position and pull. All right. Same way you pull something from the ground. Once again, if you need to be doing this on the chair, go ahead, okay? This is a good posture to have. Not only when you're working out, can be doing anything from home chores when you're picking up something heavy. You should get that good back strength and you get yourself as often. All right, got 10 seconds left. Just power through. There we All go. Right. Well done, guys. Good job. Got one more exercise. One exercise cool left. Down. Yes. Then we have a cool downs after that. So try and go all out if you can for this last one. And off on a good, strong note. Not for us, but for yourself. That's most mm -hmm. important. At the end of the day, it's all about me. Right? All right, get ready into your push up position. Remember, at your own pace, you have the bend under your armpits so it doesn't bother you while you're doing it. Yeah, there's also different ways you can do this, especially if you're ending up, don't make it a bit harder for yourself. You can do a few quick ones. And then slow it down. Alright, fix it up if you'd like. Remember, you're working on your upper body this time. So you're going to be pushing yourself up from your hips or from other parts of the body and pushing your arms up. See you, Anthony. Alright, you need to rest, it's fine, it's lovely, okay? Last two. There we go. Wonderful. Good job, guys. Good job, okay? We are not done yet, don't go yet. We are not done yet, though, guys, it's true. <laughs> Alright, walk around, take us your bottle if you need to. Yeah. Breathe as you go. Okay, we're gonna relax a little bit first. While going down into your cool down, right? How's everybody feeling? Everyone's good. All good? Yeah. Are you okay? Good job, good job, good job, good job. Hope well, everyone's doing okay as well. Mm -hmm. Alright. End of the day, it's about how hard you push yourself, how much you want to get out of the exercise that we're doing. All of these exercises that we have done today, you guys can do it not only with your resistance bands, you can just do it body weight without any equipment at all. Or you guys can choose to do it with any household items as well, like what our colleagues did earlier this week, where they used bottles, or if you have some oil or cartons of milk at home, yeah. why not use them since you guys are in many ways, right? Improvise, you never know. Mm -hmm. So you can be using any sorts of equipment that you guys want. Yeah. Okay? Well done, well done. You did good. 
Everyone's meal, right? Everyone's all good. We're going to do our pull downs. Yeah. yeah. Alright, let's begin with our pull down. So, with all these cool downs, we're just going to be holding there for about 10 counts. Okay? Alright, sure. Let's go. Okay? We'll start with stretching the back of your legs, the hamstring. So, it's the back of your thigh. Yep. Gonna have, we can hold on to your bands if you want to. If you want to do it without your bands, that's fine too. Gonna have your bands in front of you if you're holding on to it. Standing slightly wider than shoulder width apart. Okay? Gonna just bend yourself forward. Keeping your knees straight. So come the side, this side, bend it. Stretch out. Just like that. Try to keep your legs straight. Boom. Try not to let your knees bend too much. Alright? Mm -hmm. But you don't want to be locking your knees as well, okay? You want to be in a good position where you can feel the hamstrings here stretch. So it's a bit. Alright? From here, you're going to go reach downwards as far as you can. You can touch your ankle, touch your ankle. You can touch the floor. Go ahead. If not, you can just leave your hands hanging in front of you or you can hold on to your knees as well, okay? Any comfortable position, important thing is to feel the stretch at the back of your thighs, your hands. Remember to breathe as you go, inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth. Three, two, one. You're gonna slowly, slowly come back to your standing right. position. Very slowly, just that. Nice. Good, nice, good job. So the reason why I want to slowly come back into your standing position is from down positions, if you're going to go up straight away, you might feel a little dizzy. Yeah. So that's why we, do, we don't want to help. Yes. So take your time to breathe as you come back up. Okay? What's the next tool that we're going to do? Alright, so the next one we're going to do a bit of a quad stretch. Alright? Mm -hmm. So if you'd like, just take it back. Alright? Just loop it around your ankles like this. Here I will demonstrate to the side. And from this position, just hold yourself up, right? If you put your hand on your hips, it's fine. Just pull the quad up. You want to stretch this whole area here. Okay? So if you alternate this, you can do it without the bend as well. You can just hold on to your ankle. If you need to hold on to anything, you can just hold on to the chair that you have been using earlier. Or if you have an umbrella nearby you, or anything nearby you that can hold on to, that's fine. You can even be leaning towards the wall as well, okay? Important thing here is to feel the stretch in front of your thigh this time. Another important tip, try not to let your leg be too far away from your body. Next one is a good stretch. You want your leg to be in line with your body as much as possible. Okay? Try to keep your Three. knees as close to each other as possible. Alright. Three, two, and one. Okay. Eight. We're just going to switch over to the other side. Same thing. Can you use your bends or not with your bends? Right, same thing. Just hold on to your ankle. ankle. If you have trouble, hold on to your hips. Same thing, stretch. All right. 10, 9, 8, same thing if you can't 7, be as high up. Six, if this is your max, that's fine too, okay? Don't, five, need, don't need to force yourself to reach four, your body. 3, 2, and 1. Right. Wonderful. Okay, next one, you're gonna be doing a bit of your calf this time. So you're gonna have one leg in front of the other. We'll start with your left leg in front first. Right leg to the back, both heels on the floor. Alright, so here I'll be showing it to you without using resistance mm -hmm. band. I'll be showing it to you with. So, same thing, it's the exact same position. Put your heel on the edge of resistance band. Lean forward. You're just gonna pull. Lean forward a bit more. You should be feeling the stretch in your calf. Alright? This part here. Yeah. Alright? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, You cannot clean it, you can try to go four, lower. 3, 2, and 1. Alright. And then just alternate. Same thing. You want the band on your heel. Alright? Spot there is fine. Alright, same thing. Got that forward and lean in. Alright? You want to have both tools on the floor at all times, yeah? Yes. Once again, you can hold on to anything near you if you need 
some belly. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right. Make sure you try. You're just gonna bring your bends up overhead, okay? So you can pull your bends in half if it's too long for you. Just holding it shoulder width apart. Drop your thigh, you're gonna bring it up high. Just imagine some something's pulling you upwards while keeping your feet grounded to the floor. Okay, for another five. Four, three, two, one. I'm gonna shift to the side, to your right first. Now feeling the stretch, the side of your body here, your legs. Keep a good stretch. Same thing. This is a pull down. So breathe. Catch your breath. You lost the moment of thought. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go to the other side now. Try to go as slow as you can, keeping your chest up. And six, five, four, three, two, one. Then that's the guys. This one will be a uh, chest opening first, right? Yeah, okay. okay. So for chest openings, same thing earlier on that we did for our warm up. For our part, same thing. Right? And one. Just going there, feeling the stretch. Yes. Seven, six, five, four. Three, two, and one. Alright, we're gonna do triceps followed by shoulders at least. Alright, the same thing. Alright, we are gonna shoot to the end. We want the band around you like this, we'll be holding it on opposite ends. So we're holding it to your right, the band should come on your left. Okay? So just from this position, you're gonna be pulling with your hand that's lower. Alright? Lower down your body. So this way, you put it down. Try to relax your arm that's above your head. You should feel the stretch in your tricep. Alright? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Alright. Now you're just going to alternate. Exactly the same thing. Okay. Should be the opposite end, from the opposite side as well. Same thing applies. The lower hand, just pull it up. Alright, stretch the tricep. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Alright. Yeah, and I can put your bands away. We did some push ups just now, so some of you may be feeling a bit of tension around your shoulders area. So you're going you can do some shoulder stretches as well. Okay, so you're going to have your right hand over your left shoulder, left hand supporting your right elbow. Feel the stretch on your shoulders on your right side. Feel it on this area predominantly, right? <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Switch. Side. Okay. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bend the best. Okay, Shake nice. it off a little bit. We're gonna end it off with some breathing. Sorry. Okay. A new trick that I've learned when it comes to breathing, right, is actually to have your palms mm. over at the last rib cage and your pinky fingers over where your cheekbone is. Right. 
So as you breathe in, inhale through your nose. You'll feel your rib cage expanding. And you'll feel your thumb going further away from your pinky. As you breathe out, you'll feel your fingers coming back together. So inhale through your nose. With the rib cage going away from your pelvic area, away from your pinky. As you exhale, feel it coming close together. And again, inhale. Exhale. Two more, right? Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. One last one, inhale. And exhale. All right, give yourself a pat on the back. Right. Good job, so, everyone. A lot of claps. Well done, well done. Good job. How are you feeling, Syed? I'm feeling great. How are you? Good. Good. Nice. Yeah, I'll probably need a nap after this. <laughs> Alright, so for those of you guys at home, share with us how you guys are feeling after this whole workout, how you guys were feeling during the workout. Yes. And if you've gotten some photos or videos of yourself following us with the workout, do share with us. You'd be more than happy to see them, right? Yes, definitely. Yeah. Please submit whatever you've taken. It could be pictures, <laughs> videos, whatever. You could be doing it with your family. Mm -hmm. If you're doing it alone, we'll take anything. Uh, please remember to, obviously, after you finish your workout, have a good shower. Right? Get this for those ones. Yes. <laughs> Especially for me. For those who are not fasting, uh, please get uh, a good amount of nutrients mm -hmm. to drink up as well. For those who are fasting, please be patient, hang in there. It's just a few more hours. You yeah. can do this. No worries. Okay. So, right. thank you for joining us today. We'll be back much. with more exercises next week as well. Yeah. If you guys have any different kind of exercises in mind that you guys want us to guide you guys along with, any functional fitness exercises that you guys want to be resistant, more resistant band workouts more household item workouts or just possibly like body weight workouts yeah. chair workout any kind of workouts that you guys want to see us do live for you guys do let us know comment down in the sections down below any platforms that you guys are watching at or you can just drop us a dm over at any of these channels as well we'll be more than happy to be providing you guys yes. any of these exercises as well okay so stay home stay safe we are going to get through this circuit breaker period together, okay? Take care, guys. All right. Bye. Happy Ramadan to you all yes, who are fasting. And have a good weekend, guys. Thank Bye -bye. you for joining us. Thank you very much. Thank you.